Hello everyone. This lecture will cover topic 5 analysis using the Excel spreadsheet. As I announced, uh, since this is my first time delivering a lecture uh, through online, it might not be perfect, but hopefully you guys can understand. All right. Uh, from this lecture, uh, you will be able to use Excel to calculate the present worth, future worth, annual worth, IRR, uh, be, uh, benefit of cost ratio, and payback period for any given alternative using appropriate function presented in topics in four, uh, topics in three and four. And also, you will be able to calculate nominal and effective interest rates and perform economic analysis of individual alternatives and perform comparative evaluation between mutual exclusive alternatives using any of the method presented in topic 4. This lecture will uh, cover some of the contents that we have learned in the past uh, which includes chapters 4 to 6. Before you start, uh, if you are not familiar with the Excel, I re highly recommend you to watch this video, Top 25 Excel 2016 Tips and Tricks, first. You can click the link or just copy the link and paste it in your uh, web browser. The Excel is the tool that can really make your life easier, even if you are familiar with some of the Excel features. I will still recommend you to check this video and try yourself so that you can be familiar with Excel. Some of the tips that I want you to, to focus from this video are filter, transpose, paste special values, I have function, absolute cell reference, text to columns, freeze pan, pans, which I use them very often in my daily life. So pause this video and watch the uh, video by clicking this link. All right. If you came back from the video, I will now start with this lecture. In this lecture, you will uh, learn three different types of functions, which include the functions for uniform periodic cash flows, functions for non-uniform per periodic cash flows, and other functions include functions for variable uh, periodic interest rates and calculation of depreciations. Uh, before we start, we have to understand the sign convention for cash flows. The Excel assumes the following sign convention for all the arguments that represent cash flows. Negative numbers for uh, cash payout such as investment costs and positive numbers for cash received, such as revenues. In general, if positive cash flows are entered, Excel output, uh, outputs uh, negative cash flows, vice versa. So remember, uh, the result will give you the opposite uh, convention. Next, uh, we'll, we'll learn the entering parameters in the Excel. For each function, the parameters inside the brackets can be entered as numerical value or addresses of where the values are placed within the worksheet or formula for computing the value of the parameter. So remember, there are three ways to uh, enter 
your data in the bracket, either numerical value, addresses, or formula. First, let's develop a net cash flow table. Cash flow tables are essential to modeling engineering economic problems in a spreadsheet. I'm going to show you how to develop a net cash flow table by using the example 4-2 in your textbook, which you can find uh, that example in page 112. In this example, you can see that uh, the example want you to use a cash flow table and end of year convention to tabulate the net cash flows for both alternatives and determine the annual net cash flow difference. Now pause this video and play example one video now. Okay, welcome back. Hope you can uh, develop a net cash flow table now. Next, what we are going to learn here are functions with uniform periodic cash flows. First, FV, which calculates the future value of a com combination of present and future uniform periodic cash flows. PV calculates the present value of a combination of future and uniform periodic cash flows. PMT, payment or annuity, calculates the periodic cash flow of a present and or future cash flows. Rate calculates the internal rate of return per period of a combination of present future, and or uniform periodic cash flows. And per calculates the number of periods for a series of cash flows that results in net present value to be equal to zero. Here are the definition of basic variables. Rate is the interest rate per period, and per is the total number of cash flow periods. Per is a specific period between 1 and m per. PMT is the uniform periodic cash flow, and it cannot be changed over the life of the cash flow. Typically, PMT contains principal and interest, but no other fees or taxes. PV, a net present, uh, a present cash flow or a equivalent uh, present value of future cash flows. FV, a future cash flow or an equivalent future value of cash flows. Type, the number zero or one and indicates when payments are due. So if type is omitted, if you watch uh, the, follow the, the future videos, often I will omit this type and then the Excel will assume to be zero. If it's zero, if the periodic cash flows are due at the end of the each period, which we learned, and we will use only this type. One, if needed, the if the periodic cash flows are due at the beginning of the each period. Sometimes uh, we want to calculate uh, this when the due are at the beginning of the each period.
Here are the syntax for NUD functions. First, feature value. You have to start with typing equal fv open bracket rate comma amper comma payment comma pb comma type close bracket to calculate the present value type equal pv open bracket rate comma amper comma pmt comma fv comma type close bracket for periodic worth pmt and repeat for calculating internal rate of return type rate open bracket Ampere, comma, PMT, comma, PB, comma, FB, comma, type, comma, guess, close bracket. This function is for uniform period cash, cash flows, and the default guess is 10%, which is here. To calculate the number of periods, And PER, open bracket, rate, comma, PMT, comma, PB, comma, FV, comma, type, and close bracket. And this can be used to calculate the payback period. Here are, the, here are some notes that I want you to be aware. For PB, present value, future value, payment, rate, and uh, ampere, the first three variables must be entered. If the rest are left out, they are assumed to be zero. For example, for PB, the variables rate, ampere, and PMT must be entered, while FE and type may be left out to take values of zero. So when we go back, here are the syntax and the first three are required but the rest two can be omitted and the Excel will show that to be zero. Variables must be entered exactly in the order specified, so you can't mix up. To skip a variable, you have to enter a value of 0 at each location before you enter the following variable. For each variable, you can enter each value directly. The address where its value is placed and or or a formula for calculating the value. Now function for non-uniform periodic cash flows. IRR and MPV can be used. First IRR calculates the internal rate of return for a series of periodic cash flows, uh, normally non-cash flow, such that the function rate cannot be used. MPB calculates the present value of a series of periodic cash flows, normally non-uniform, such that the function PV cannot be used. In detail, IRR, this is the uh, syntax, so type equal IRR, open bracket, values, comma, guess, close bracket. This is for calculating the internal rate of return for a non-uniform periodic cash flow. Values is an array 
or a reference to cells that contain cash flow values from period 0 to N. Guess is the number that you guess is close to the result of IRR. Net present worth can be calculated with uh, this function type equal NPB open bracket rate comma values and close bracket. This calculates the present value at period 0 of non-uniform period cash flows from period 1 to N. It assumes this uh, end of period cash flows. The entries value 1, value 2, and so on can be entered as an array values containing the cash flows. I know it's going to be confusing by learning these uh, syntax and the formulas. So let's uh, try ourselves by solving the examples first. The example 2 is same as the problem 4-130, which calculates present value, future value, and annuity. Pause this video and play example 2 video now. Okay, welcome back. From this video, uh, now you're familiar with calculating uh, the present value, annuity, and future value. Now I want you to try uh, homework question one by yourself so that you can be familiar with uh, these functions. I know you can calculate the formula Instead, I want you to type the formula by yourself instead of copying the, the formula that you just did from the sample question. Since by uh, typing again by yourself will help you to remember and be familiar with the functions. Pause this video and work on the homework question one by yourself. Welcome back. Now we'll try RRR functions here. Pause this video and play uh, video example three now. Welcome back. In this video, uh, now you are able to calculate the RRR by using the rate function. Let's try another example, which is the same example in your textbook, example. 5 dash dash uh, 12. Pause this video and play example 4 video now. Welcome back. Uh, 